Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Meek. Welcome to my channel. I have a dope video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to change the pitch and the scale of your melody or chord progression in the piano roll using what is called the scale quantize option. I'm also going to be showing you how to transpose your, you know, MIDI notes to a higher or lower octave. And that's going to be super smooth. Okay. This is very useful for when you want to use a repeating pattern of notes, but you want to change the key or the pitch, you know, in a section of your song. So you got a lot of songs that in the verses, you know, they'll have their pianos lower and then by the chorus, they're higher. So you have dun -na -na for the verse, right? Dun -na -na. And then the chorus, it goes dun -na -na. Dun -na -na. Or you have that same melody, but they change it to a different key, okay? so. I wanna show you how to do all that manually. All right, so I'm gonna show you how the scale quantize option in Logic Pro for iPad changes a melody or chord progression or how you can change your loop. So I have here, my first line, I have a melody that I created, but it's actually inspired by Janelle Eco's None of Your Concern. But yeah, so I just played that in there. Here I have a chord progression, and down here I have an apple loop, okay? So I'm gonna show you how using the scale quantize can transform a loop into something totally different, a chord progression into some, something different using Logic Pro for iPad, the different scale options. There's so many scale options. My favorite is this Japanese scale option, but we gonna get to that. But first I'm gonna show you using melodies, okay? So here I have my melody. I don't want it to get flagged, so I played it a little imperfect. All right, but um, yes. The first thing I just wanted to show you guys is the transposing. It's two ways. I'm gonna show you the two ways. The first way to transpose is in the piano view. So there's two ways to get to the editor. You can press this pencil, which is more simpler, or you can double tap on your MIDI region, go to this edit in the drop down menu, and then you wanna go to show an editor. We're going to transpose this. We're going to do that by holding down our screen. All right, this little square cursor is gonna pop up and you just drag that over all the notes that you want to highlight and transpose. So I wanna transpose all of them. All right. So I'm gonna tap on a note and this menu will pop up and at the bottom is gonna say transpose. Okay, you can transpose up. I like that actually, okay? Another way to transpose is in our inspector's view. So if you hit inspector, okay? And then you have different options here, region and track. You go to the track option and then you go to this more. You can transpose that as well. So you can transpose here. So the first option under more, it says transpose. I can just transpose that to whatever I wanna transpose it to. So 24. And that's another way to transpose. I like to transpose in the editor, you know, in our piano roll this way because the notes actually snap to the correct um, place on the grid and to the correct, you know, piano key. So that's why I would recommend you do it in transpose in the piano roll. Awesome. So let's get to what we came to get to. So what we're going to be in to get to the scale quantize, we're going to be in the notes menu in the inspector. So the inspector shows parameters for selected regions, tracks, and other items. Okay. The available parameters change depending on what type of item is selected. I want you to keep that in mind because we're, we need the notes menu. Now the note menu is not available, okay? The only way the note menu will be available in the inspector's view is if you have a note highlighted or all of the notes. So once I highlight one note, now in the inspector, if we go you know, to the top bar, we can see the notes option is available, okay? And we can edit our notes. But if there's no notes available, and the inspector will not show the notes. So I'm gonna actually highlight all of my notes and it's gonna bring this up. So we're focusing on here is the scale quantize. So in scale quantize, you can see we have two options. We can change the key, all right? You can pick what root note you want your scale to be in. And here where it says scale, you can actually pick what type of scale. There are 12 different keys 
and there are a lot of different scales okay i'm going to show you how we can totally transform this piano melody by changing the scale and also the key so the scale we're going to be in today i'm going to just pick b okay and as you can see all of the notes jumped and they snapped to the correct place on the grid okay so this is b major now so let's hear it All right, that's cool. So let's choose a different scale. So let's go to B minor. Natural minor, Aeolian. All right, I like it. Let's put it in F sharp. So we put it in F sharp. All right, something cool. So if you want your verses to have this melody and then at the chorus, you want to use the same note order, but you want to change the, the key or the scale, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And that's a really good idea. And you could do that using scale quantize. So I'm going to double click on my MIDI region. I am going to go to edit and I'm going to go to repeat region. Okay, we got our, you know, copy of our melodies, the same thing. So what I'm going to do, like if this was a beat that I was composing, first of all, I'm just going to transpose this. Cool. All right. So as you can see, the MIDI region, of course, is in the key of F sharp. The scale is a natural minor aeolian. So as you can see, the key is, of course, the same because we copied the MIDI region, but it's an F sharp natural minor. Okay, so I could change this to a different scale, but keep the same key. So I can do a minor pentatonic. And as you can see, it changed the melody to notes that are in F sharp in the pentatonic. So it's still the same note order technically, it's just the notes that are in F sharp minor pentatonic. So we have our verse melody in F sharp, you know, minor pentatonic. And in scale quantize, it's always going to show what scale you use last but that doesn't mean that this is an f sharp minor pentatonic you know just because it says it over here because we know that it's not all right you see that so you could just move that to wherever you know your chorus or your your breakdown would be or whatever and just change it so now let's see what scale quantize does to chords okay so i have a chord progression that i created and i changed all of my chords to seven chords right, so check out my video on chords and logic pro for ipad all right, but this is in a key of C major and I just changed them all to seven chords. And I just made this melody using my chord strips. So let's see how we can change our chord progression using scale quantize. So I want to just tap my screen once, select all, and open up my inspector. And now we're in the notes menu and it's saying F sharp and a minor pentatonic scale. Like I said, the inspector shows what you use last, okay? We can actually just keep it in F sharp minor pentatonic and I just push scale quantize again and it'll snap the notes to F sharp minor pentatonic. So I snap to scale quantize again and it changed my chord progression to F sharp minor pentatonic when it was in C major, all right? changing that because it sounds too too similar to C major. Select all. So from here, I'm going to change it to B minor. All right, 
so I want something like deep. So I'm gonna go to this Miyako Bushi Japanese scale. I'm gonna keep it in B. She liked the tone of C, so let's do that and see. I like that. So let me select all and let's do a fr Phrygian. All right. So you can have loops that sound like, make you sound like a professional player. Like these different scales just make your music more musical. And that's what I really love and appreciate about this. But now that we've seen what we can do with our chord progressions, let's see what we can do with loops. I got my Apple loop and this is called Younger Days Synth. All right, so we can transform a loop. So, oh, did you guys know this? So if you go to the stretch option, right, so if you go to the stretch option, you can stretch your loop. You can elongate it. My logic is tripping. So you can elongate it or you can make it smaller and it go faster. Also with loops, making them your own, all you have to do is just pick a different patch. Um, So I can do an instrument patch. Let's see, replace patch. All right, so yes, that's gorgeous. Now, it's gonna be other people using the Apple Loop probably because that's a gorgeous Apple Loop. I would do, I would just change it. So select all, open our specter, and let's just change it to a C Phrygian. It's already on C Phrygian because that's what we used last. So if I want to apply the C Phrygian scale to the loop I have now, I'll just push scale quantize again and it changes it to C Phrygian, all right? You got an attitude. I love that. So let's make it C sharp. I love C sharp. C sharp always sounds dramatic. And let's change it to my favorite scale, which is the Miyako Bushi Japanese scale. Let's see what it does. You can also mute notes in, in a chord. So right here, I could just mute that. Um, Mute that, mute that note, and just see what it sounds like without that note. And if you want to turn it back on, you just unmute it. Alrighty. So you can totally make the Apple loops your own. You can even transpose it all up. All right. Let's see, it is too bassy. It is a lot of bass in it. And you can just go through the scales. You got the option because it just, you know, transforms your MIDI so fast. You can just go through a lot of different stuff. Like this is a game changer, you guys. All right, so let's go to a major scale. So that's just a little about scale quantize. Thank you so much for watching this video. That is all. Hope you learned a lot.